Hello, this is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor, and this video is on the role of physics in healing. Now, I have several videos already up on my YouTube channel about physics, and my favorite physicist is named Nassim Haramin, and um, he's the guy that unified all the physics together, and nobody else has been able to do it in the last 120 years, but he did it. And um, if you want a lot of detail on that, you can watch my other videos. This video is going to be short, and I'm going to just hit some highlights when it comes to physics and healing. So um, here's the bottom line. There's only a few forces in physics in the universe. So um, we have gravity, and then we have electromagnetic, and we have um, spin. Okay, now spin, or rotation, is 98% of the force in the universe. And that's significant. And so I'm going to show you now the model of what Nassim has uh, discovered to be unified physics. So there's a black hole in the center. Now the black hole in the new physics is not a big vacuum that sucks in light and matter and crushes it. That's not what a black hole is. It's the beginning, it's, it's the center of the creation of all of energy and all of matter. So there's 275 million new stars created every, every day. And that's because of black holes. They're creating matter. And they spin those new stars off. That's why galaxies look like those, these big spiraling arms. Okay. So the spiraling arms would be going like this. But, and that's the matter that you see. Now the forces look like this. We have a force that goes out. And then it curls back around like that. And we have another force that goes out and curls back around. And then again, twice more here, like that. Okay, so we have this, um, this system going. And from here we have um, vortices that come out like this and up like that. Okay, so now here's the point when it comes to healing. We have this explosion of an electromagnetic force and then we have this implosion of gravity okay so now these two these two forces or fields actually feed back information on themselves and there's it's intelligent it's a biofeedback system so like getting back to these big rotating spiraling arms they could start to wobble. We're talking about like a, some sort of a galaxy or something or a, a solar system somewhere out, you know, out in space. These arms could be wobbling and then some of the matter kicks off and then the arms are not wobbly anymore. So it corrected, it's, it, it corrected itself. So it's uh, self-correcting and it's self-organizing and it expands. So this is like a plant that's growing in your backyard. It's self-organizing it's growing, it's getting bigger. So just like, just like a plant, you could see a solar system, a star system, a galaxy, and it's acting like a plant, which is amazing. So now this system here, we're not, we're not just talking about like out in space, and, but we're also talking about biology. The same field occurs around a plant, an insect, um, a tree, and your body. And this is where it's key. Your body has its own self-organizing system, and it's um, self-aware. It feeds back information on itself, and it heals. So if you cut your skin, how does it heal? The physics of the field controls the chemistry, which, can, which is the biology. So physics comes first. I'm going to write it here. Physics, or the field, is the foundation from which you get chemistry, and then chemistry creates biology. Now, as a healing professional, um, I know physics, and I have this great understanding then of chemistry and biology. Now, the physics that was taught to um, healthcare practitioners nationwide is deficient um, in physics. The um, the schooling of healthcare practitioners is deficient in physics. 
what they need to know is what Nassim Haramin talks about. So the classical physics, you know, back in the 90s when I took, I took theoretical physics and classical physics, it wasn't enough. It didn't talk about these forces. Okay, so anyways, the point here is that once you know this, and this is really, this is how I'm going to end this video. When you know this information, you look at the body and you think, oh, it heals itself. We just need to take away interferences like maybe um, mercury out of the body or fillings out of the teeth. We need to take away interferences like bacteria or parasites. Um, and then the body can heal itself. Maybe the body's deficient in nutrients. So we add the nutrients in and then the body heals itself. So that's where natural healthcare practitioners come in. But in medicine, in classical medicine, now and going back, you know, 100 years, 200 years, they don't know this. And they think the body is stupid and it's, you know, it's dying. So you need to uplift it with harsh chemicals. You have to poison it to stop it from doing something. You have to block enzyme reactions. You have to stop biochemical pathways, you know. You got to stop, you know, certain pathways of biochemistry because the body doesn't heal itself. No matter what we do, the pe person keeps getting sicker and sicker, then they die in the meantime, let's try to keep them alive as long as we can. That's the viewpoint if you don't know the physics of healing. So that's the end of this video. Now you know the physics of healing. The body can heal itself. It only heals itself. But if it's interfered with by some toxins or nutritional deficiency, then it can't heal itself. And you got to find out what's going on to fix it so that it can once again heal itself. If you don't find out why it's not healing, you end up as a medical patient. You end up on drugs that completely ignore and bypass all this information. So I hope this is educational and informational. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I always need to have feedback on what I'm saying. Thank you.